Imagine this. You're lying on an operating table, a team of doctors bustling around, bright lights glaring overhead. You know surgery is about to happen, but you're oddly calm. A masked anesthesiologist leans over and says, all right, count backwards from 10, and before you even get to seven, boom, you're out. No pain, no memory, no awareness. Hours later, you wake up groggy but alive, the procedure done. It almost feels like magic, but it isn't. This controlled sleep is one of the most fascinating and carefully engineered feats in modern medicine. Let's peel back the curtain and see how anesthesia really works. Right here, on History of Simple Things. At its core, anesthesia is a medical way of blocking sensation, especially pain, during procedures that would otherwise be unbearable. But it's not just about pain relief. Anesthesia also controls awareness, movement, and sometimes even memory. There are different types, each tailored to a specific medical need. Local anesthesia numbs just a small area, like when you get a tooth pulled at the dentist. Regional anesthesia blocks sensation to a larger part of the body, like an epidural during childbirth. And then there's general anesthesia, the full shutdown of consciousness used for major surgeries. Despite their differences, all forms of anesthesia share one core purpose, keeping you comfortable and safe while doctors do their work. To understand how anesthesia works, you need to picture your brain as a massive control center with billions of neurons constantly sending and receiving signals. Pain isn't just a physical reaction. It's a message traveling from your nerves through your spinal cord to your brain. Anesthesia interferes with this message. General anesthetics, for instance, bind to certain receptors in your brain and spinal cord, slowing down the electrical activity that lets you sense pain move voluntarily, or form memories. Some drugs amplify the brain's own calming chemicals, like GABA, which act like brakes on nerve activity. Others block excitatory signals altogether. The result? Your brain gets quiet. So quiet, in fact, that you slip into a controlled unconscious state. Local anesthesia works on a much smaller scale. Instead of knocking you out completely, it targets the nerve endings in a specific area. When injected, it blocks sodium channels in nerve cells, preventing the electrical impulses that carry pain signals from ever reaching your brain. That's why you can have dental work done while being fully awake. Your nerves simply can't call your brain to report the pain. Regional anesthesia works similarly but on a bigger scale. By injecting the anesthetic near a cluster of nerves or into the spinal fluid, doctors can block sensation to entire limbs or even the lower half of the body. It's precise, effective, and lets you stay conscious while still feeling nothing where it matters. General anesthesia is the heavyweight champion of the anesthesia world. It doesn't just stop pain signals, it turns down your brain's awareness dial to zero. This usually involves a combination of intravenous drugs and inhaled gases. First, you get an IV injection of a sedative, often propofol or a similar fast-acting drug that helps you drift off. Then, inhaled anesthetics keep you under for the entire procedure. These drugs slow brain activity, relax muscles, and prevent you from forming memories during surgery. But going under isn't as simple as flipping a switch. Your breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, and oxygen levels are monitored every second. And anesthesiologists adjust the medication levels constantly to keep you in that perfect safe zone between being awake and too deeply sedated. If the surgeon is the one fixing you, the anesthesiologist is the one keeping you alive while that happens. Their job isn't just to put you to sleep, it's to maintain your body's stability during one of its most vulnerable states. They decide the right drug combination, 
monitor your vitals, and adjust everything in real time. They also manage your pain before, during, and after surgery. Think of them as the conductor of an orchestra, making sure every part of your body systems plays in harmony while the main act of surgery unfolds. One of the most intriguing aspects of general anesthesia is amnesia. You don't just feel no pain, you also remember nothing. This is partly because certain anesthetics suppress the hippocampus, the brain region responsible for forming new memories. It's a safety feature. If you can't remember what happened, your mind can't develop trauma from it. In fact, the drugs are so effective at blocking memory formation that even if a patient is briefly aware during surgery, which is extremely rare, they often can't recall it afterward. Once the surgery is over, the anesthetic gases are turned off and the drugs in your bloodstream start to wear off. This process is gradual. Your brain slowly regains its electrical activity. Your muscles start to move. And eventually, your eyes open. You might feel groggy, confused, or nauseated. Common side effects as your body shakes off the lingering effects of the drugs. Anesthesiologists continue monitoring you in the recovery room to make sure your breathing and circulation are normal before you're fully cleared. Modern anesthesia is incredibly safe, thanks to decades of research, better drugs, and advanced monitoring technology. Serious complications are rare, especially for healthy patients. The biggest risks usually come from underlying medical conditions rather than the anesthesia itself. Allergic reactions, breathing difficulties, or blood pressure drops can happen, but anesthesiologists are trained to spot and handle them instantly. In fact, anesthesia safety has improved so much over the last half century that the risk of dying from anesthesia in developed countries is now estimated at less than 1 in 200,000. Here's the fascinating part. Despite all our medical advances, scientists still don't fully understand why anesthesia works at the most fundamental level. We know how it interacts with neurons, and we can track changes in brain waves. But the exact reason it causes complete unconsciousness is still being studied. It's one of medicine's great paradoxes, a tool we've mastered in practice, but are still trying to explain in theory. Anesthesia is, without exaggeration, one of the greatest achievements in medical history. It has transformed surgery from a brutal last resort ordeal into a precise, pain-free process. It works by carefully interrupting the body's pain and awareness pathways allowing patients to undergo life-saving or life-improving procedures without trauma. Whether it's a small local numbing at the dentist or full general anesthesia for a heart operation, the science behind it is both complex and life-saving. And while it may feel like you simply drift off into nothingness, behind the scenes, a team of experts and a symphony of chemical reactions are working together to make sure you wake up safe and well. So next time you hear, count backwards from 10, you'll know there's a lot more going on than just a nap. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.